take a look at how we import names into Student Manager. We're going to use the Names Import Wizard, and this can be accessed by going to Tools, Import Export, and Names Import Wizard. But before we do that, let's take a look at our data and make sure it's set up correctly. One of the most common formats for importing data from is from an Excel spreadsheet. On a spreadsheet, you want to make sure that there is a header row with names for each of the rows of data. The header row should also be bold printed. This is a little undocumented secret that tells most programs that this is the header row. So make sure each piece of data, each data type, has its own row. Once this is complete, save the file and we can import it in the student manager. Student manager can ex import in the 97-2003 Excel spreadsheet files. Once you've checked your data, the next step is to start the Names Import Wizard. So we're going to go up to Tools, Import Export, and down to Names Import Wizard. The first thing it's going to ask you is to find the data file that you wish to import. Mine's on the desktop, and I'm going to choose the sample data file. Notice that I'm using the Excel 97 2003 format so that I can import that into Student Manager. I'm going to click on the file and click OK. The next thing it's going to do is ask us to line up column headings in our data file with column headings in Student Manager. This way, the information is put into the correct format in Student Manager. So my first column heading in my data file is first name. I can use the drop-down list and find the first name heading within my student manager data. I go ahead and click OK, and there's last name. So I'm going to scroll down and find last name. And there's address. Now, if it happens to be a field that I do not need, I could actually go and say skip if I needed to. So I'm going to go through and match up all the headings in my data file with the proper headings in Student Manager. Not only can you import data into common fields, you can import your data into user-defined fields in Student Manager as well. In our example, we have a field in our data called shirt size. We can look at the drop-down list at the fields we can choose from, and you notice that we have lots of fields. And if we go down the list, we can see that all of our user-defined fields in Student Manager are available. So if we have a particular user-defined field, we could choose that field and import our data into it. Once you get done lining up column headings in your data file with column headings in Student Manager, it's going to ask you if there's a header file or a header on the Excel file. You need to tell it yes if you had one because you don't want that information imported as a record. You can also assign these names a source code. This is a great feature because let's say you're bringing in a list of names you got from a, a conference you went to. You can then assign these names a source code so you know where to, you got them. Or, and this is something we do here at Aceware a lot, if you want to do a mailing to those specific names that you received, you can. It's really easy. So how would you use that? Well, for example, let's say you gathered a bunch of names of potential students at an orientation. You could mark those with a unique source code and do a mail out to those students at that orientation by just searching for that source, source code. So I'm going to go ahead and assign these names a source code, and it wants to know the source code I want to cite. So I could say, using the orientation example, I could say this is from the fall 14 orientation. 
So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And we can also assign them an interest code. So remember in Student Manager we have source codes of where we got them, but also interest codes. So if these were for a specific topic, uh, we could say maybe this was for certificates. We can also assign an interest as well. Once done, it will tell you the import is complete, and now those, that information is in Student Manager.